Vice Magazine recently launched a subsite called Tonic, focusing on health and science issues. Now, for those of you who don't know, Vice Magazine had some countercultural cachet in the mid aughts during the heyday of the Williamsburg hipster scene. Their do's and don'ts feature was always entertaining, but oh, how times have changed! In fact, in a recent survey conducted by Google on the opinions of teenagers, infuriatingly titled It's Lit, teenagers ranked Vice the second least cool brand ahead of only the Wall Street Journal. So obviously, they're going to have to do some rebranding, and how better than with a health vertical dedicated to issues relating to the rapidly failing, heroin-ravaged bodies of their aging hipster readership. Now, like a lot of garbage publications, Vice wastes no opportunity trying to propagandize their idiot readers into atheism. Vice even promulgated the long discredited historical myth that Jesus didn't exist, promoting the conspiracy theories of Vanity Press pseudo-scholar Joseph Atwill. Now, not to put too fine a point on it, but the magazine that cares so little about actual research that they'll promote the opinion of a self-published crank over that of actual qualified scholars now wants to be giving you medical advice. But atheist propaganda seems to be just about the first order of business advice tonic, with an article titled, What Happens to Your Brain When You Stop Believing in God? Now I know what you're thinking, oh, I bet there's going to be studies with control groups and charts and graphs. Ha 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 ha! This is atheist propaganda we're talking about, there's never any actual science. What little scientific substance there is in this article hinges on this quote. Religion works exactly like a drug, like cocaine or methamphetamine, or like music or like romantic love says Jeffrey Anderson, a radiology professor at the University of Utah who studies religion in the brain. All of those experiences on some level tap into rewards. The physiology is really the same. So yes, yeah, since religion is similar to these things in one regard, it must be identical to them in all regards. Uh, this is the composition fallacy, and it's just faulty logic. Most of the article is based on personal anecdotes. The author learned that Santa Claus doesn't exist, and then she learned that the Earth isn't 6,000 years old, and so yada yada yada, therefore atheism. Naturally, the author then takes her own experiences and applies them to everyone. Never mind how it would apply to a believer like me who was never taught that the Earth was 6,000 years old, or how it would apply to an atheist who converts to Christianity later in life. To support the claim that conversions to atheism have anything at all to do with science, the article defers, naturally, to an opinion poll. Pew's 2016 survey on why now unaffiliated Americans lost faith yielded explanations such as rational thought makes religion go out the window, lack of any sort of scientific or specific evidence of a creator, and I'm a scientist now and I don't believe in miracles. Did no one have the heart to tell these religiously unaffiliated Americans that their justifications for atheism were completely stupid? I mean, what minuscule percentage of the respondents do you think are actually scientists? And since there are scientists who do believe in miracles, the claim that they don't believe in miracles because they're a scientist is just a complete non sequitur. The article ends with an assurance of what happens when we finally break up with religion. This is presented as an inevitability. The rest of us are just going to have to catch up with our superiors at Vice Magazine. This assumed inevitability is reflected in another Vice article, this time shilling for the work of the Cleric Project, where in Fall in the Way clerics are paraded as trophies for the atheist cause. The article is titled, Ex-Clergy Explain How They Realize There Is No God. No, the clerics didn't come to the conclusion that there's no God, they realized that there's no God. Apparently this is a fact. Too bad Vice can't marshal any evidence to support it. So take your fake history and your fake science and shove them up your scrawny asses, you fraudulent wannabe journalists. The implosion of your company is wholly deserved.